Hey, Gold Rush Miners. As soon as Tony Beats was introduced to us on Gold Rush, he was referred to us as the King of the Klondike. And yes, he has earned that title. Now, with that being said, I feel it's time to check and see who is still truly the King of the North. Alright, let's go through the three miners and their gold totals throughout their time on Gold Rush. And yes, this will include the Hoffman's Misadventure to Guyana. Alright, let's start with the Hoffmans. Todd and his crew were the originals to the show, and I feel they had the most stacked up against them, being greenhorns and all. Season by season, we watched them struggle, and inside, I know, I was rooting for them. When they finally got all cylinders firing, they did a 180 and went to Guyana, and went looking for that jungle gold. That was when I feel Todd and his crew were at their lowest points, but through hard work and determination, they bounced back and started getting all that good Klondike gold. Through their first eight seasons on Gold Rush, they got a very respectful, respectful 8,038 ounces of gold, which today's gold price is at 1946 an ounce. That is over $15 million. Now that is something to be proud of. All right, let's talk about Tony Beats. When Tony came on to the show, he was already the self-proclaimed king of the Klondike, and he has proven his throne through the ounces of gold. With contracts that favor him on his royalties, he was making passive gold along with mining gold himself. Parker sure paid Tony millions in royalties. Through Tony's time, for which is shown from season 6 until season 12, the Beats family have mined 20,000 805 ounces of gold. Tony and his family have mined over $21 million in today's gold prices. All right, now let's talk about Parker. Parker has been a part of this adventure since season two, and without a doubt, he has been an amazing miner. Starting his grandfather's mine and going to the Yukon and leasing ground from Tony, he has done an amazing job. It's easy to say that a lot was handed to him, but I would disagree. I feel that he has earned every ounce of gold through the old-fashioned way of hard knocks. So, for his total from season 2 to season 12, he has mined an amazing 25,171 ounces of gold. Parker has mined a mind-blowing $49 million of gold. Well, with all of that gold totals being said and done, and the true king of the north is Parker. His massive gold total and dollars tell us that he will be the king of the north for a long, long time. All right, everybody. Well, if you like the content, please click on that circle that's on your screen to subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. All right, everybody. This has been a Gold Rush Minute. Till the next time.